Hi, welcome back to Tony Montana's channel. On, on this occasion, this video, we are going to cover uh, Grand Champion Titere according to Chico Lopez. And I'm going to be clarifying why he is saying things and why he is talking so much mud over the dog when the consensus of the people community is that this dog was a great uh a great dog in our time. But Chico Lopez is calling him uh, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, I will have to uh, uh, I will have to translate because he's saying it in Spanish. So I will have to translate what he's saying. Um, so here we go. Let's see if we can. En miles, por carretas. Eh, me siento mal por ustedes. Porque son parte de las personas que están metidos en las peleas de los perros. Como observadores. Como, como personas. Lo que llamamos las obras del game. Las obras del juego. So he basically right now, he said, oh, I feel sorry for you guys that are coming into the dogs now, that are are, are, <coughs> are here coming into the, the, the um, well, are paying attention to the uh, dog fighting aspect of the breed in places where it still happens. Uh, and, and this, what you're paying attention to right now as, the, as, as an expectator or as a fan is basically the leftovers, the, the, the uh, crud. Of what used to be. This is what he's saying now. Okay. What I'm saying here is. Well Chico. He. Uh, Chico Lopez left the United States. Because he couldn't manage the competition here. He couldn't. Um, his dogs weren't in, up to par. So Chico Lopez. When he was still in New York. Uh, decided. When he in New York. He lost most of the time. So he moved to Texas. Hoping for better things. Uh came into Texas as a loser. Uh, he was losing so much in Texas, so he decided to go, uh, maybe Mexico would be easier. Uh, in Mexico, he started making good, you know, started winning because he didn't have the, uh, a good competition until he started uh, using the internet, that Google, to uh, using, you know, all the tools that they, uh, the internet helps you with so that you, uh, your ranking goes up. So Chico Lopez's name went up, and the people believed, started believing the hype that he was a good dog man with good dogs. Then the competition uh, he started facing was a lot tougher, so he started losing again, and then he decided going to um, uh, the, the Balkan area thanks to uh, internet, thanks to, and uh, uh, he went into a, to an internet dogger, over there, Smart Kennel was uh, uh, now mile. He was an internet dogman. When he won against that internet dogman, and that internet dogman became Chico Lopez's uh, yard boy. This is facts. That Mao left um, his country and went to Brazil because at this point uh, in Chico's life, uh, Chico was already in Brazil. And stood there for like six months, I believe, six to, six to ten months as Chico Lopez's yard boy. Facts. And that was, uh, uh, I think, Chilindrina's second or third when he, um, that he mentions that he goes to the Balkan area. And yet, you know, most of the dog, most of the dogs he's gone through and most of the places he's gone are, are are not elite. They're like you know average at, at best. But let's continue listening to this guy. Y tienes interés ese morbo lo quieren alimentar y ven. Yo te voy a recomendar algo porque está eso. Mira el video de la pelea que está que está en internet. Now he's mentioning for you guys that have that more need to watch fights. He is suggesting go ahead and go watch that uh, video of Titer's video where he's uh, standing, uh, uh, looking around to, uh, for, for pictures. The video is about, I would say, a, a minute, a minute and a half, at most two minutes, because I remember seeing it a long time ago. You know, obviously, but we're not we, we're not finding out. We don't know when it was, like how long into it it was. 
Uh, we're not taking into account that there was eight, uh, uh, seven other matches that he won. It, we're not taking in, in, in that minute, minute and a half. He's not taking into account that he had um, a match with another, uh, with a dog of the year uh, in Homer Balboa that he beat. You know, another grand champion that he beat. So he wa he wasn't going just you know, you know, into uh, anybody. He was looking for the the strongest you know opponent. He got Homer, the dog of the year to time 2012. He beat him, so he became dog of the year. Um, Tito became dog of the year in 2013. I believe he was a three time dog of the year. Okay, that so. We're not talking about uh, we're not talking about a jump, and this is dog of the year by a, a, a known organization. It, it, this is not a, a dog of the year that he made up or the owner made up himself. Like Chico Lopez is all these dog of the year. He can't tell you what organization gave him dog of the year, but we can tell you dog of the year who gave dog of the year to this dog. Hello, and who gave this uh, uh, um, dog uh, dog of the century uh, to this dog? We know who did it. We know what organization. Gave that dog those merits, uh, but Chico Lopez can't do that. Chico Lopez can't do the same. So Chico Lopez, the only thing he can do is belittle, uh, put down the accomplishments of all the dogs and all the dog men, because he's trying to sell his uh, uh, do dogs. He's trying to uh, sell the hype. So he's telling people that don't know. Hey, look at that. Find that video and, and that's and judge. That dog by that that momentary uh, lapse because I, I I do agree it it isn't the best uh, look for the dog, but again we have to take into account that we don't know what happened before we don't know how long he was who knows if if, if that's the way he takes a, a bit of a rest before he continues going as, as an intelligent dog again he won eight times so he might have uh, known how to pace him who knows we uh, what we do know is he's never he never lost. Uh, what well, we do know that he is a grand champion, won eight times. What we do know is that he is a, a three-time dog of the year uh, um, by a recognized organization. What we do know is that that dog, Titere, uh, uh, be another dog of the year, recognized, uh, reputable dog of the year uh, in Homer Balboa. What we do know is that he came out over the time and when he was seven years old to show his uh, his medal uh, going over two hours against uh, against a young dog, a young strong dog. He went over two hours to win. So he sh the dog showed that he was a, a bulldog. You know, uh, I can't tell you if, if he was in big trouble in any of it to show gayness, but he certainly, at two hours, he definitely showed that he was a bulldog. So um, I guess I'm not gonna, I don't need to put more of, of Chico Lopez BS about this dog. Let's see if there's anything else, just for, for completeness sake. All right, so he's talking about now, in the, in the 60s and 70s, this dog wasn't, wasn't uh, uh, anything. He, he would have been discarded. He would have been a, 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 a call in the program. Um, he said, but first of all, he wasn't even around in the 60s. In the 70s, he was just born. In the 80s, he was in, in, uh, in the 80s, he was in freaking Honduras on top of some fucking uh, mango tree, pulling down mangoes in Honduras. So uh, uh, in the 90s, he was wet behind the ears Barely trying to figure out where which side of the dog pissed and which side ate in the nineties. Okay, so we're we're talking about a guy that didn't know anything in the years that didn't know anything about the breed in the years that he's talking about. He wasn't around. He was didn't have any connection to these dogs in the eighties or the seventies, nineties. Barely, but he started in the nineties. You know, in the two thousands, was getting his ass whooped. <laughs> That's how he was learning. By just losing, somebody has to lose. By now, he is telling us or telling telling the new people that uh, this dog was garbage for dogs back then. It was worth a bully. 
en los 90 no servía, no se lo podía regalar a nadie. In the 90s, you couldn't, you couldn't. Se lo podía regalar. The funny thing is, you know, Richard Stratton, Richard Stratton, he has made very good comments about this uh, Titere dog. And he has enjoyed taking pictures, uh, many pictures with this dog. Whenever I, I've seen many pictures of Richard, Richard Stratton with his dog and many other dog men uh, ho taking pictures with his dog. You know, this is the same person, Richard Stratton is, who spoke well many years ago about Chico Lopez. So now I ask Chico Lopez, are you going to say something bad about uh, the um, taste or criteria of uh, Richard Stratton? Are you going to say, oh, he don't know what he's talking about? Remember, he's the one that says that he were, you know, you were a good guy, this and that. Uh, are you going to say he's wrong? All right, now he's talking about the people. You people, he's saying you are the weak-minded. You are the, you know, the new and uh, easily uh, confused. You are, you know, the one that is persuaded by marketing, the wife says, right behind. Um, it's basically, that is his clientele right there, what he was just described. He's looking for weak-minded, uh, easily persuaded, easily persuaded by marketing because that's what Chico does. Marketing, persuasion, and confusion uh, uh, does uh, exaggerations in order to get uh, uh, customers. Like, wow, look at how the way he's talking. Wow, look at what he's saying. Grand champions and this and great, great grand champions and this and that. You know. <laughs> but again, it's all in his world because the organizations that can grant those merits, that's not, the, those organizations did not give them, uh, most of them, I guess, yes, in, in up to probably some of the merits he got up to 2000, let's say 10, may, perhaps. There's some of some of those merits are are, are, are accurate, but hello, we're you no, know, we're 2021 almost, you know. Uh, these dogs are long gone, you know, and, and and this is something you know that when you don't, you know, 10 years, that's you know, it's a long time. So anyway, Chico Lopez, that's that's that about you and and ch Grand Champion T today. He was a good dog. He was definitely uh, uh, show his marrow, uh, marrow, marrow, excuse me, show his marrow um, in front of uh, reputable dogs, and you just jealous. You just want to be people to uh, not be uh, into any other dog that that's not in your yard is not being sold by you. You want the whole market for yourself, but people are wising up. This is Tony Montana. Till next time.